Breaks. In this video, we are about to learn different types of brakes and their applications. Brake is a device for slowing down or stopping the motion of a machine element by providing an artificial friction resistance. The brake is forced against the moving member so that the friction occurs between the contacting surfaces. The kinetic energy of the moving member is absorbed by the brake and then converted into heat energy. This heat energy is usually dissipated into the surrounding medium such as air. This prevents the overheating of braking element. According to the form of energy used for actuating the braking element, the braking system are classified into three. Mechanical brakes, hydraulic brakes and electrical brakes. In this video, we learn about the mechanical and hydraulic brakes only. Mechanical brakes. They are of four types. Shoe or block brake, band brake, band and block brake and internally expanding shoe brake. Shoe or block brake. It consists of block or shoe attached to a pivoted lever. The block is pressed against a rotating machine element such as a drum by the action of the lever. In a single block brake only one block is used for braking. These types of brakes are used in some trains and tram cars. In a double block brake, two opposing blocks are used. This increases the braking torque. This type of brake is used in electric trains and in older generation trains. The shoe or block is made of material softer than the drum. This is because the block is easier to replace than the drum. Band brake. A band brake consists of a band connected on a pivoted lever. When the drum is rotating, the lever is pulled. This causes the band to tighten and rub on the drum. The frictional force between the band and rim of drum makes the drum stop its rotation. The band and drum heats up during this. The heat generated is dissipated into the air. The band used here is either made of leather or made of steel having a friction lining. The band brakes are less commonly used. It is found in the braking system of certain bicycles. Band and block brake. Working of band and block brake is similar to a band brake. The difference is that instead of band directly contacting the rotating drum, multiple blocks attached to the band contacts the drum. These blocks are made of wood or some other frictional material. These brakes were widely used in trains. Internally expanding shoe brake. In an internally expanding shoe brake, there are two C-shaped shoes lined with a friction material placed inside the rotating drum. A clearance that is a small space is provided between the internal surface of drum and the friction lining of shoe. One end of the both brake shoe are pivoted on a stationary backing plate. The other end of the both shoe are connected by a spring. A cam operated by a lever is placed between these ends of shoes. When braking is required, a force is applied on the lever by the action of the braking pedal. When lever moves, the cam turns and pushes the shoes against the internal face of the rotating drum. The frictional force between the friction material and the drum causes the rotating drum to slow down and stop. It is used in automobiles where low braking force is required, for example in motorbikes. Hydraulic brakes. Hydraulic brake is a category of brakes where a brake fluid is used for operating the braking element such as a brake shoe. It works based on the Pascal's law. There are two common types of hydraulic brakes, internal expanding shoe brake and disc brake. The hydraulic disc brake. The hydraulic disc brake is shown here. It consists of a master cylinder, one or more wheel cylinders and a hydraulic line connecting them. They contain a brake fluid. When braking force is applied using the brake pedal, the fluid in the master cylinder is pressurized. As a result, the fluid in the hydraulic line and the wheel cylinder also get pressurized. This high pressure causes the piston in wheel cylinder 
to push the brake shoe against the rotating part that is a disc. The disc stops due to the friction force. Hydraulic internal expanding shoe brake. The operation of a hydraulic internal expanding shoe brake is similar to that of hydraulic disc brake. The brake fluid in wheel cylinder is pressurized due to the action of brake pedal on the master cylinder. The piston in the wheel cylinder pushes the brake shoes against the internal face of the rotating drum. The rotation slows down and stops due to the friction. 